Hey guys, check out these cool new bobby pin options that I found at the drugstore. Different colors, different sizes, I definitely had to buy a couple. One of the hottest new trends right now is exposed bobby pins, so I'm going to show you a few simple ways to rock them. I'll show you some cool styles that I found on the Free People blog, as well as a few that I've adapted, and a sweet DIY. So let's go! First things first, a bobby pin has two sides a wavy upper side and a smooth bottom side. Now, usually people insert them wavy side up, but since we're using them for decorative purposes, we're gonna flip them, inserting them smooth side up for a cleaner appearance. So the first looks will be on a top knot bun. This is super easy. You're gonna take a bobby pin that's a contrasting color to your hair, so it's visible, and simply insert it off center directly underneath the bun in a straight line. I'm gonna do this two more times for a total of three parallel lines that add a bit of interest to the back of the bun. You can also do this in the front if you prefer. It's just a really simple way to jazz up a plain, messy top knot. You can also bring the bobby pins up the side of the bun for a little vintage flair. Okay, so on this messy top knot, I'm gonna simply take the bobby pin like a pick and stick it into the base of the bun halfway. You're gonna do this all the way around the bun, spacing the pins evenly apart. Now you've got a really delicate bun crown, and you can experiment with as many or as few pins as you like. This next one is inspired by the chevron pattern. We're going to have it going up the side in the back of the head, right underneath the bun. Grabbing a contrasting bobby pin, I stick it in halfway at a 45 degree angle. Now grab another pin and do the same thing in the opposite direction, so they meet in the middle like an open triangle. Now repeat the same step directly underneath, leaving a little more of the pin exposed so it reaches out further. And again, a third time directly underneath, leaving a bit more exposed and make sure it's at an angle. Now you've got a neat chevron pattern. You can stop here or keep going. Of course, I'm gonna keep going. But I'm gonna use a slightly darker colored bobby pin to create a gradient effect. And once you're done, you have a really unique chevron inspired look that's like an unexpected peekaboo for anyone thinking it's just a plain old top knot button. I'm gonna make a low bun for this next look. We're gonna create a really neat fan accent for our bun. Taking a contrasting bobby pin, we're gonna stick it into the base of the bun like a pick, leaving a good amount exposed. Continue this up along the side of the bun, going halfway. And again, you've got a simple but unique bohemian vintage accent to really amp up the inches factor on a would-be typical bun. You can also use the bobby pins along the hairline as a makeshift headband, or use a few to create a faux shaved side with a romantic medieval aura. So let me show you a neat way to jazz up even your most simple bobby pins at home. You'll need an index card, some contrasting nail polish, and of course, your bobby pins. Place your bobby pins on the index card, smooth side facing up. Now the fun part. Start painting any design you want across the bobby pins like a blank canvas. My favorite are dotted geometric patterns because they're super easy and they're really cute and bohemian. Add interest using different colors, then let the pins fully dry. When they're completely dry, place them in your hair however you like and voila! You've got a unique, one-of-a-kind accent. Also, painting on bobby pins that match your hair color really makes the pattern stand out. So that's it, the exposed bobby pin trend. What do you guys think? Possibilities are really endless with bobby pins. Which is your favorite? And would you even rock this trend? Let me know in the comments below. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! 
What are you thankful for this holiday season? Check out my 10 things I'm thankful for tag over on my style channel. And come hang out with me and the fam over on my vlog channel. I'll see you guys there.